Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to a new weapon of the week. This is Morris, and this week's weapon of the week is it's a very strong weapon of the week. It's one of those weapons that, well, like, y y you know, those guys that run around with double rockets, with manual, and, you know, go for the gazillion, bajillion KD, and uh, run around with shields and stuff. Well, if you want, if you want to kick those guys' asses, you can do that with this weapon. And those guys would probably be up for using this weapon as well, because this weapon, guys, is the Charged Beam Sniper. Yes! Now, it's a fun weapon, and it's a very strong weapon, as I said. Uh, it does like 80 damage to the chest, it does like 65 damage to the to a lag shot, and it one hit kills uh, on a headshot through overheals, and through shields as well. And god damn it, it's so fun to use. Like the, the, the charge trigger. I have a sweet spot for the charge trigger, guys. It's charge trigger has a special place in my in my in my, in my heart. <laughs> so, uh, it's I don't I really like the aesthetic of the the charged beam assembling energy from the air and putting it at the end of the barrel of your gun. Just waiting for you to lift your to lift your finger up from the mouse. And, and and release all that energy onto your enemy, and he will get hurt at the very least, because it doesn't one hit KO. But <laughs> he will get hurt for sure. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, in addition, it reloads pretty quickly. Uh, it is it's a beam, so you it's pretty much effective on every range. Like on the short range, on the long range, it's nearly hit scan. Contrary to popular belief, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, <laughs> beams are actually not hit scan. They are projectile based weapons, which you can kind of see once you watch, uh, watch it frame by frame, frame by frame. It's really, really, really fast projectile, but in practice, it doesn't matter. You can pretty much use it like a hit scan weapon. Unless you're like on freaking shattered trying to shoot across the map, then you kind of have to lead your target. But otherwise, you can pretty much use it uh, as a as a, as a hit scan weapon. So yeah. Now let's get on to this to this George Beam baby, to, to this uh, the weapon setup. What we have here is well, let's start off with the parts that don't matter: the stock and X-ray uh, and the scope. I'm using X-ray because. I really like X-ray. You can track th people through walls with them, and even when there are a bunch of explosions, you can still see their skeletons. So, like the visual effects of the weapon won't don't have to mess up your aiming. So that's kind of why I like X-ray. But the thing is, with this charge beam, you're not going to be aiming down sides a whole lot. Your preferred option of shooting will probably be hip firing, which is a very doable thing with the beam chassis, seeing how it has 100% aim accuracy and a fire accuracy. So yeah, scope does is kind of kind of comes down to personal preference. You can kind of put a bioscanner scope on there if you really want to be evil and try kill stealing, uh, <laughs> try to kill steal a uh, few uh, kills uh, from your teammates. <laughs> like what? What? Wait! Wait uh, for the enemy to uh, be below. 80 health and then just uh, pop a <laughs> pop a charge in their chest and then uh, <laughs> teammates will go out like ah oh, you're a kill stealer ah! and then you'll go like yes I am ah! I still prefer the X-ray scope <laughs> anyway uh, then we got the stock and you can take compact you can take aluminum you can take standard and it doesn't matter jack shit. Don't take shock absorbing and dampening unless for some miraculous reason you'd want to use uh, uh, you want to use a scope on it. I, I, I kind of guess you can do that, but it's not really. As I said, you're really mainly going to be hit firing this weapon. And there's no real reason to put a scope on it in my experience. And shock absorbing and dampening, you don't want to you don't want to do that because it just nerfs your shit so much really does it's like terrible penalties it's not good don't 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 use those <laughs> not on a beam and well then we got the barrel and that's a sniper because it's a charged beam sniper 
you're not gonna put on a, a headhunter because there's no real point in it, I guess, if you are in a, some kind of competitive match where everybody's always fully overhealed and shit. You and you are very certain that you can consistently get headshots with this thing. This weapon with the headhunter thing can uh, one shot through both shield and overheals, but the, s but the sniper will one shot through just overheals, so it's like it's not really worth it. Sniper's just better because you also get the 80 body shot damage with a headhunter barrel on it. It's like, well, let me see, yeah, it's like 70 body shot damage. That's that's quite a difference, though. That's quite a difference. So that's not really, really something you you want to use. Sniper's just sniper just a job better, I think. So yeah. Um. Then we got slug. Uh, you, you can use Tesla, but it is penalized pretty heavily. Uh, and I don't personally... Yeah, it's like 50 damage instead of 80 damage. Now, that's a major penalty, so don't take Tesla. <laughs> I, I, I thought it through again. Don't take Tesla. <laughs> um, okay, and then we we're, we got the cooling here. Now, uh, there are three kinds of cooling systems. We've got the heat sink that has the lowest... Uh, I mean, the highest capacity, but the lowest damage. And we got the standard, which is kind of in the middle, and then we got the liquid cooling, which has the highest damage and the least uh, capacity. Now, uh, the liquid cooling, once you fire your charged beam shot, it will overheat if you, at least if you have charged it to the max. Yeah, once you've charged it to the max, it, it will overheat uh, as soon as you release it. So that's kind of, that's kind of. That's kinda but that doesn't really matter because the overheat time is not that long. If you ca yeah, as you can see, I can pretty much switch uh, to my uh, to a rocket launcher or something and pump a rocket in that guy, and my charge beam it will already be ready to fire again once I switch back. So the way we're using it is kind of as an opener weapon. You don't you're not going to want to fire like you, you don't really want to run run it. Uh, run two of these charged beams because the, because of the charge time. Like you can't. It's kind of it's kind of inefficient to start charging up that beam mid comp mid battle. It's just not working out. <laughs> it's not just not going to work out perfectly fine. And well, you're better off switching uh, to your secondary after your first charge shot. Uh, and finishing or, or kind of cleaning up your target. Which you can kind of use a full auto uh, rifle or beam for, and yeah, th th those those were pretty good to, to clean up your uh, enemy. But yeah, no no to the to the sta uh, standard and heatsink magazine because you just simply don't need that extra capacity, and it would just be a shame for the damage loss. Now and with the gun, then we got the trigger, and obviously this is charged trigger, otherwise it wouldn't be a charged beam. Yes. <laughs> Now the thing with the charge trigger is, once you start uh, kind of charging it up, you can charge it up by holding your uh, left mouse button. And once you release that left mouse button, it will uh, release its, char its charge. Ah, uh, but as soon as you start charging up your beam, your overheat capacity will go up. And you really need to watch that overheat capacity because once that overheat capacity hits 100% you can no longer hold the charge and it will auto fire so yeah you don't have infinite you don't have infinite time so to say but you do have a you do have a pretty uh, pretty long time and you kind of want to use that time too because you really want to hit that shot like it's quite a forgiving weapon but it's not but because of the charge time you really you, you can't fire it a bunch of times. Like, if you miss the first shot, it's not like you're dead, dead, but it's kind of like you're... Well, you do... You, you lack the advantage. What you want to do while using this beam, you want to hold down your reload button. Like, by default, your reload button is R, but I personally rebound it. Is that a word? Rebound? Rebind? Rebound it? Rebind it? Well, anyways, my new key for reloading is uh, one of my mouse buttons, like M5 or something, I don't know. Uh, that kind of depends on your mouse, but I found that to be 
uh, it, it, like it's something you can get used to while using other weapons and with the beams it means you can easily hold down uh, your reload button all the time because what reload button holding does <laughs> on the beams is it makes your beam cool down faster than it would if you weren't holding it. That is very beneficial so keep that in mind always hold down the reload button while using a beam. Let's go for every beam guys, every beam. Charge trigger for you. Take your time to aim. That's all I can say about that. The last thing I'd like to mention are the pyro users because those pyro users can kind of mess up your day. Well, like it's not like you're boned or something when as soon as uh, there's a pyro user on the other team, but it means like if you are going, if you can get a shot off, if you think there's a decent chance you can get a shot off, even if it, the shot is not fully charged yet, just fire it and finish them off with your secondary because. In the event, because you will have way less time to aim up that shot, so to say, because of the pyro, he will make your beam overheat faster. That's that's. It's it's not it's not a very hard counter, but it's something to keep in mind while using it. If you want to see some more charged gameplay, I link the uh, JP Beast channel in the description. He's been using this charged beam for a much longer time than I have, and. Uh, He's a very nice guy and a very good player, so yeah, definitely check him out. Anyway guys, that was it for this weapon of the week, the charged beam. Good weapon, keep it in mind, for sure, try to craft it at least once and see whether you enjoy playing with it, I guess. Uh, and as I said, it really, 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 really is strong. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Forsaken